The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also with you. Good morning. Good morning. Merry, Christmas. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. I think we have all the greetings out of the way now. Um, welcome to worship as we gather together on this first Sunday of Christmas. Pastor Karina is on vacation, has been on vacation this week. We're celebrating a service of the word today. Um, we have sort of a tradition here at Emmanuel of on the first Sunday of Christmas, we celebrate a service of lessons and carols. And so we'll be doing that today. We have seven readings, seven car of carol following each of the readings. It will be a joyous occasion for worship today. Please rise as you feel comfortable as we join together in this acclamation. Jesus, the bright morning star, shines light in the world. By day and night, Christ shines for all to see. Jesus was born in the midst of injustice and poverty, that the world may see the justice and richness of God. God so loved the world that God sent Jesus, so that all who believe in him may not perish, but have eternal life. Jesus is the light of the world, Jesus is the light of our lives. Sing to God a new song, a song of hope, joy, and peace around the world. may be seated. Children of God, we have a calling and a purpose. God invites us into celebrating God's grace in Jesus Christ, accepting all unconditionally, and growing in God's call to serve the world. This is who we are, and at the same time, this is who we strive to become. We are God's people, sent as messengers of peace for all creation. Let us pray. Eternal Father, you gave your incarnate Son the holy name of Jesus to be a sign of our salvation. Plant in every heart the love of the Savior of the world, Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. I'd like to invite the children to come forward for children's time. Come on up. Yes, Strobel children, come on up. Yep, but you know what? It's so much fun. You get to have all the fun on your own. It's going to be great. How are you today? Blessed by God. Today and every day, we are blessed by God. So today, it, it's still Christmas today. Christmas is a whole season. Christmas isn't just one day. And did you know that there are 12 days of Christmas? Do you think we can count to 12 together? Let's all count to 12 together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. There are 12 days of Christmas. Today is day eight. And you can tell that it's still Christmas coming in here, right? What do you see in the room that tells us that it's Christmas? What 
it's all up here. We've got wreaths, we have garland, we have poinsettias, we have Mary and Joseph and the baby Jesus. We're singing Christmas carols today. There are Christmas trees. And oh, wait a minute, what's underneath the Christmas tree? Come, let's go. We're gonna look underneath the Christmas tree. Help me open it. Mama open it. Oh, Mama open it. Okay. <laughs> it's from Amazon. Oh, good. They're all in little boxes. <laughs> oh, let's see. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. What is this? We have a tambourine. Oh, egg shakers, other little noisemakers. Look at all these fun things. And we can use them today for all of our Christmas carols for our lessons and carol service. We are going to sing a carol right now. We're going to sing the refrain of Go Tell It on the Mountain. We're going to sing it twice. I see you play an instrument. Keep those for the worship service today. Sure. Yeah. All right. First reading is from Genesis. In the beginning, when God created the heavens and the earth, the earth was a formless void, and darkness covered the face of the deep while a wind from God swept over the face of the waters. Then God said, let there be light, and there was light. And God saw that the light was good. And God separated the light from the darkness God called the light day, and the darkness God called night. And there was evening and there was morning of the first day. And God said, let there be lights in the dome of the sky to separate the day from the night. And let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and for years. And let them be lights in the dome of the sky to give light upon the earth. And it was so. God made two great lights. The greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night and the stars. And God set them in the dome of the sky to give the light upon the earth to rule over the day and over the night and to separate the light from the darkness. And God saw that it was good. Holy wisdom, holy word.
reading from Micah. But you, O Bethlehem of Ephrathah, who are the one of the little clans of Judah, from you shall come forth for me one who is to rule in Israel, whose origin is from old, from ancient days. Therefore he shall give them up until the time when she who is in labor has brought forth. Then the rest of the kindred shall return to the people of Israel, and he shall stand and feed his flock in the strength of the Lord, in the majesty of the name of the Lord his God. And they shall live secure, for now he shall be great to the ends of the earth, and he shall be the one of peace. If the Assyrians come into our land and tread upon our soil, we will raise against them seven shepherds and eight installed as rulers. Holy wisdom, holy word. From Luke. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David, for the virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was pretty much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. 
Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be holy. He will be called the Son of God. Then Mary said, Here am I, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. Holy wisdom, holy Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from Matthew. Now the birth of Jesus the Messiah that took place in this way. When his mother Mary had been engaged to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found to be with child from the Holy Spirit. Her husband Joseph, being a righteous man and unwilling to expose her to public disgrace, planned to dismiss her quietly. But just when he resolved to do this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, for the child conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. 
All this took place to fulfill what had been spoken by the Lord through the prophet. Look, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. When Joseph awoke from sleep, he did as the angel of the Lord had commanded him. He took her as his wife, but had no marital relations with her until she had borne a son, and he named him Jesus. Holy wisdom, holy word. You may be seated. A reading from Luke. In that region there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find the child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom God favors. Then the angels had left them and gone into heaven. The shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told about them, told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all the words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, as it had been told them. Holy wisdom, holy word.
reading from Matthew. In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem asking, where is the child who has been born King of the Jews? For we observed his star at its rising and we have come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened and all Jerusalem with him. And calling together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him, in Bethlehem, in Bethlehem of Judea, for it has been written by the prophet, and you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men and learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem saying, go and search diligently for the child. And when you have found him, bring me word so that I might also go and pay him homage. When they had heard the king, they set out and there ahead of them went the star that they had seen at its rising until it stopped over the place where the child was born. When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then opening their treasure chests, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Holy wisdom, holy word. Thanks be to God. from John. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness and the darkness did not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. 
He came as a witness to testify to the light so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him, yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood or the will of the flesh or the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and lived among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory as of a father's only son, full of grace and truth. Holy wisdom, holy word. Thanks be to God. Please join me in our responsive prayer. 
It is you, loving God, who lights our path with truth. Your word, Jesus, is truth. In his light, draw all to the manger, to gather in wonder with the shepherds. In his light, draw all to the manger, to kneel in reverence with wise ones. In his light, draw all to the manger, to sing for joy with the angels. In the brightness of his life, cast away the darkness of injustice, poverty, and hunger in the world. It is you, loving God, who meets us on our way. In the light of Jesus, show the world the way of life. Amen. The peace of Christ be with you always. Let us share words and signs of Christ's peace with one another. Peace be with you. Right, you may be seated. It is so wonderful to be gathered together in worship as we continue the joy of this Christmas season. I have a number of announcements to share with you. Um, first of all, a reminder that next weekend we resume our regular program year uh, schedule of worship services and our education hour. So you can join us on Sunday mornings at 8 or 10.30 a.m. for worship. Sunday school begins at 9.15. And we also have Monday worship at 6.30 p.m. That actually starts tomorrow, but we'll continue to have our Monday worship every week. Um, also, mark on your calendar, our annual meeting of the congregation will be on Sunday, January 22nd. It'll be right here in the worship space following the 10.30 service at 11.30 a.m. We give thanks for your continued generosity to our mission in life together here at Emmanuel. If you give using offering envelopes, those are available in the narthex. You can pick those up. Um, otherwise, you can give in the offering plate online um, in the many ways that you give. Also, um, another way of giving, throughout the month of January, we are collecting socks and underwear for local elementary school children through the Shared Community Mission Group. And so we'd invite you to, to contribute to those as well there's a barrel in the narthex for that. Please rise as you feel comfortable as we give thanks for God's word. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. Let us pray. O God of justice and love, we give thanks to you that you illumine our way through life with the words of your Son. Give us the light we need. Awaken us to the needs of others, and at the end bring all the world to your feast, through our Savior Jesus Christ, who taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. 
we join together in this responsive blessing. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise God, all creatures here below. You are the shepherds telling the story. We tell it in the streets and across the land. You are the wise ones worshiping with thanksgiving. We worship with gifts of song and service, talents and treasures. You are the angels announcing peace. We live with joy and go now in peace. May Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit bless us now and forever. Amen. Amen.